special today and nothing bigger than this kick right here. That block was with nine seconds in the first half. Well, guys on the kicking team here at Auburn have kind of bonded together. They all like bleach their hair different oh, colors yeah. and right now they're all blonde. <laughs> Jacob Allen, backup quarterback to hold for Damon Duvall. The blonde bandits have a chance to win it for the Auburn Damon Tigers Duvall today. A 37 yard 37 yard kick, 17 seconds left in the game. Will it be heartbreak in consecutive weeks for the Ole Miss Rebels? The kick is up. Ooh, I think it's wide. He missed it from 37, and Ole Miss dodges a bullet. 11 seconds left to play with the score is tied. Did you see the coaches who checked up? They erupted. The old Moses coaches are right next to us. They erupted when they saw the ball go off. What did I say? Overtime? Two weeks in a row. <laughs> He gets into it, but the ball never hooked like it did. It was more like a slice. You can see right there, he knows it's not coming in. And look at the old Miss players over there. Well, as much as the block punt helped Auburn right before halftime, the Miss field goal certainly inspires this old Miss team. And we are headed to overtime for the second consecutive week. There's one of those blonde bombers. Oh, what a miss. What a miss. A huge miss. Ole Miss has never won here at Auburn. They are 0-8. They have an overtime period that changed history and went for the first time in Jordan Hare Stadium. Well, we talked about overtime. We talked about it last week. The team that gets the ball, the team that wins the toss, has a huge advantage because they usually defer, and they let the other team go first. If they score a field goal, they know what they have to do. If they score a touchdown, then they go for it on fourth down. So the team that wins the toss defers, and they have a tremendous opportunity to do this. Well, last week, Ole Miss took the football first, kicked the field goal. Bandy knew what they had to do, and that was score a touchdown. And on third and goal, they hit their tight end for a touchdown, and they win it. And of course, pandemonium erupted. Vanderbilt wins for the first time on the road in a number of years. And, all, and Ole Miss trying to win for the first time ever inside Jordan-Hare Stadium. Oh, and there's one of the sad moments of the game. Ben Leard with that shoulder separation. You can see the dejection on his face. As we look over there. And what they're trying to say right now on Ole Miss's side is we want the toss. If we don't get the toss, you see where the crowd is? Think about that crowd down there. Well, in 1992, a while back, up a victory over this Auburn team. It has been a while, and they hope to break that string. As a matter of fact, Auburn's won 15 of the last 16 of these games. Now, you see what's right there, what uh, David Cutcliffe is saying. He's saying, okay, if we win the toss, he's going over with the official telling them. Now, the captain has to come out and say what he wants. But I think David Cutcliffe was saying, listen, if we win the toss, we want to defer. If we lose the toss, we want to go over here to the end zone where all the old Miss fans are. determine who's going on offense and which end we're going to play at, all right? You're going to call the toss, you call it in the air, all right? You ready? Yeah. You call the tail again, it is ahead, you won again. You want to go on offense, defense, defense first. Or you want to go on defense, defense first. All right, which end do you want to play yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. You want to play down at that end, okay? If you put your back to this goal, catch it, put your back to that goal down there. wins the toss, so they should go on defense. Ole Miss again picks the side where, the, where their crowd is. The game of the week was brought to you by Bell South, the official telecommunications partner of the SEC. By BMW. Visit your local BMW center for a test drive. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. By Regions Bank. Let us lend you our strength. By Domino's Heatwave. 
fresh, hot, and delicious Domino's Pizza. How you like it. Buy Dodge. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Buy Fram Extra Guard. The only filter with the rough textured sure grip top. It makes changing your filter a lot easier. And by Nationwide. Insurance. Financial services. On your side. Well, Ole Miss is three and two all-time in overtime games, and that's the most appearances in overtime by any SEC school as they move to their sixth OT game. Right. Dave, here's a look at well, uh, the over scenario of what's going to unfold. Well, you have the coin toss each time. The series begins at the 25-yard line, and I told you about the advantage that the team that goes on defense has. They will go back and forth until one team loses the ball on downs or scores, and the other team does not. After the third overtime, they have to go for two-point conversion each time after a touchdown. Ole Miss started against Vanderbilt with the football. They do again here against Auburn. Miller, 219 yards, one TD, one interception today. Handoff, McAllister tries to get to the outside, only gains a couple of yards. Marcus Washington on the side. Great pursuit. Throw that time comes up and makes the play, too. I mean, they're just rolling to the football. The running game just has not been there. They need Romero Miller to find those crossing patterns, find those curls. Just throw that football in there. interesting because the clock has not run out. Two seconds. The clock just now runs out. I don't understand why you would throw a flag. Well, maybe he's going to uh, wave it off. That's wave off. No flag. Now, what Romero Miller one might want to do is come back and huddle. Regroup his group back up. They've got their play set. Nope, he's going to go for it. <laughs> Williams, the tailback. He gets the call. 
flips his way to about the two, maybe a yard and a half, gain of a yard to Moe Fisher with the first stick. Now, if you're Auburn, you know you have to score a touchdown. You said that, Dave, and that's a big advantage in the series. They're close enough now, they just want to make sure they hold on to the football, don't make a mistake. They've got, they've got three downs to make two yards. If they can't make three to two yards and three downs, then they don't deserve to win. So lots of gold miss players come off. And that's still the lead back. Williams is the tailback. And he goes nowhere. Kendrick Clancy now with eight tackles. And two and a half sacks. He is playing like a man. Clancy just slices in there from the back side. He gets watch this and he gets those hands on right there. Woo! And you don't see him go one inch farther forward. It's not like he falls forward. Woo! He just whoops him down. Been a tough game today. Clifton Robinson in at running back. Now, if you get fly, do you want to throw the football? Play clock is down to six. Klein better get this off. Third down and goal from the three. The pitch. Nowhere. All Miss defense is one play away from a miracle. They dodged a field goal from 37 in regulation, and now they have a chance to win it. Well, you look for hard in players. I want to tell you, both, on both teams, this has been tremendous hard. Now, Auburn wants to call a timeout Go over here and see what kind of a pass play will work. They've got to, they've got to come up with a pass. It's third down is going to be on about, what, the eight-yard line? Excuse me, fourth down. It's going to be on the eight, about the eight-yard line, seven, eight, six, seven, eight-yard line. They've got to have a pass. They're not going to run the football in. Now, where do you go? You got Reggie Worthy, he's been good today. You got you got your Lamar Cooper coming out of the backfield. You got Rodney Ronnie Daniels. So they've got a lot of weapons. Never had a bigger play than this though. Now it's time to look at the BMW Ultimate Drive of the Game brought to you by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. And this was a tremendous drive for Ole Miss early in the football game. Miller, who rolled out pretty often early in the game, and it was very effective. A long pass, 40-yard gain down the field as he hits his tight end, and that really set up a tremendous, or capped off, I should say, a tremendous drive by this old Miss team. It's certainly 11 plays, 78 yards, 542 on the clock. McAllister runs it in from two, but at that point, Ole Miss looked like they were on the verge of blowing this thing wide open. And look at these Ole Miss fans in the end zone. They've been there all game long. They're yelling and screaming. Big down right here. Fourth down and goal from the six. A must-score situation. Climb to pass under pressure. Ole Miss wins the football game in overtime. And they did it with tremendous defense.